This tutorial has been cut into two parts. Both parts contain the basic knowledge about Photoshop Elements and the practice itself. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm Martin W. Lausch. In this tutorial, I will remove the wheelbarrow, get rid of those wires, and I will add some blue in the sky. First of all, let's take the polygonal lasso to make a good selection around the wheelbarrow. I make sure I have the add icon selected. Now I'm changing the display to some 350 percent and I hit enter on my keyboard or return on a Mac. I go down a bit, stretch the corner and move to the left. Before I proceed you may refer to this tutorial Number 1. The basic knowledge on how to select is explained in full details. This green area will be selected. So I click to begin the selection. I click and move my mouse. I don't hold it down constantly. I don't forget the handle, I take it too. Slowly but surely, I surround half the wheelbarrow. And I come back to the starting point to close my selection. Now it's time to get rid of those unwanted pixels. On my keyboard, I hit delete or backspace on the Mac keyboard. A white surface appears. That's the background. See the flashing arrow at the bottom left corner. To see everything, I hit the hand tool. Now let's zoom in a bit. I click, hold it down, and drag my mouse like this. I click once more, and I stretch the corner. And I move to the left. Before I proceed, you may refer to this tutorial, number 2. The basic knowledge on how to clone is explained in full details. I take the clone stamp tool, check the brush size, and I make sure the brush is smooth. Now I hit the Alt key or Option key for my cursors to set my source. I'm cloning from right to left, the plus symbol being my source. I just drag my mouse around. Even though my brush goes outside the selection, all clone pixel will stay inside this selection. Now I'm cloning the dark sand. And rearrange the line between light and dark sand. I continue to clone here and there. Resetting my source from time to time. Look at the plus symbol moving which can be far or close to my cursor. I can now remove the selection. I take SELECT and DESELECT. 
I now take the zoom tool to improve my cloning. Here we can see an obvious demarcation. Let's fix it with the clone stem tool. I reduce the brush size to some 20 pixels. I continue to clone the sand so it looks good. I take a bit of dark sand and I clone it. What's important here? You should avoid any repetition in the texture. I also remove the steel bar by cloning some sand over it. I once again improve the sand, cloning from right to left. Let's go to the left a bit. We can see an obvious demarcation, right here. Cloning once more from right to left. This piece of wood will be cloned. Just like that. Let's go down and clone a bit. Let's see how it looks with the hand tool. Now let's take care of the sidewalk. I zoom in and stretch the corner. I zoom in once more. In green here, I must make a very complex selection. I take the polygonal lasso, make sure I have the add icon selected, and I begin to select. I click and release the pressure. Move my mouse downward a bit, and I click again and so on. Remember, do not drag your mouse around. The principle is simple. You surround an object and you come back to where you first clicked. Finally, I come back to where I started my selection. Now I'm adding a selection to my current selection. It doesn't matter if what I'm selecting is overlapping the previous selection. They just merge together to form one selection. Here Photoshop elements will automatically pan to the right. It's a smart feature though. I'm almost done with this selection. I go back to the starting point right here. I also take this area to end this complex selection. As usual, I go back to the starting point to close the selection right here. Now I'm ready to clone the sidewalk. I take the clone stem tool. Reduce the brush size to some 12 pixels and I begin to repair the curb. Notice that I keep my click down and drag my mouse around. Always with the Alt key or Option key for Mac users, I constantly redefine my source. That being the pixels to be cloned or copied if you prefer. Now the dark sand cloning inside the selection.
What's important here is that the dark areas should disappear. As you can see, the distance between the plus symbol, in fact my source, and the red cursor may be long or very short. And the angle between them is variable, of course. In fact, it all depends on what part of the image I would like to clone. I'm the one who decides. Don't worry about the curb. On that side of the sidewalk, I'll come back later to improve it. Now I don't need my selection anymore. So I take select and deselect. It's time to improve the sidewalk and get rid of these demarcations. Always with the same old tool, I continue to clone pixels over those many demarcations and changes. Okay, let's see the result with the hand tool. This green flashing area indicates an area to be erased. So I take the zoom tool, stretch the corner a bit. What I'll do next is kind of redraw the line separating the sidewalk and the curb. I'm cloning from top to bottom, like this. Now the line itself. I move to the left. I'll take another part of the picture as the source. What I'm doing here, I'm taking just a few pixels of the existing curb and I clone it here and there. I also consider the perspective. In other words, the width of the curb must not always be the same. So in the end it will look real. Let's see what I've done now. Part 2 will conclude this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.